there's been this whole like, you know, new spam filters everyone's talking about. And, you know, A, what what's what is it from your perspective? Like, what is yep. it? What does actually mean? And and then I guess at a higher level, what does it mean for for prospecting? So the way that the landscape is today, I'll give you some metrics that we we have from Pitchfire. The first is that right now, most companies that are in B2B use a sales engagement platform. Sales engagement platforms allow you to take a contact, add it to a railroad track of activities like calls and emails, LinkedIn messages, and it will automatically build out the things that you need to do. All a rep has to do is hit a button. So if you want to dial someone, you can hit dial and call and you'll call them. If you want to write an email, you can even have follow-up emails be automated. You could have your first email be automated if you want to. And what that's done is it's basically created a problem I call the outbound paradox. The more outreach that sellers do, the less buyers are likely to answer your prospecting because you're training them to tune out and ignore the prospecting. So what do sellers have to do because they get less responses? They have to do more activities. And we have this big cycle now where the average person in the United States is getting prospected 780 times a year. That's an entry-level person. Uh, and in the 780 times to get prospected, they're going to get followed up like sometimes five to 15 times by that same person trying to get an answer from them. And so inbox providers like Gmail, Outlook, uh, Yahoo is one of them too. They're all cracking down now and trying to figure out how do I get it so that these emails aren't ruining this inbox because no one's going to be using Gmail anymore. I mean, look at 2020, for example, right? How many uh, people that were like, I'm not going to use Slack or Microsoft Teams just flocked to using Slack and Microsoft Teams instead of using their inbox anymore? It's because out, you don't have outside access on there. You're not going to get a spam message from someone on Slack if they're not in your system already or they're not included in your, your work group. Email is public. Anyone can go and email you. Anyone can go and call you. And those interruptions have just gotten out of control. Uh, and I know I come from the sales side. I know that prospecting can sometimes still work if you're really thoughtful, but you know what's the worst thing in the world? Let's say you do something really clever and creative to get in front of a prospect. One in three of the messages that you send out to a prospect will never hit their inbox because they'll go to a spam folder. So you're you're losing that at bat. And I've done crazy stuff. In 2012, I made music videos for prospects and sent them out to everybody. I've talked about this before on other people. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, like I like, dude, I could never do that today because the email would never get delivered. Mm. I'd send that to them and I'd, I'd like put a couple thousand dollars into a budget to do this, get a video team and do all the hiring and do this whole production. When I did that campaign, six out of the seven people that we sent music videos to didn't just become prospects, they became customers of ours. They signed with us, they closed. The only one that didn't get back to us was Expedia. I would never be able to, I'm shouting out to Expedia. I'm never using Expedia because of that. Shame on you, Expedia. How dare you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> um, the, the point I'm getting at is like, you could never do that today because your stuff wouldn't get delivered. Mm -hmm. And if you go and pop up and try and do it on social, there's so many reps that are sending messaging requests and and uh, invites and stuff on LinkedIn. Twitter, I think, is kind of a completely different game now. It's really like faux pas to pitch on Twitter. Text message is getting out of control too. And if you call someone, they're not saved on your phone. Let's say I make a music video for a prospect and I want to call them and be like, hey, did you check it out? People don't have desk phones anymore. They're literally trained not to answer their phone if the mm -hmm. number is not saved on their phone. Yeah. So this whole, imagine all these companies are supposed to get 40 or 50% of their revenue from outbound prospecting. But in what's actually happening today is that like all the roads you do to get to your prospect are broken. 